Let's begin our discussion of networks and links by talking about anchor text. Now we can think of the web as a directed graph where any page has a link to another page and the link is via its anchor. And we can make two assumptions about how anchor text plays a role in deciding if a page is relevant in a search. One is that a hyperlink between pages is an indication that the author perceived the second page as relevant to the first page. So a hyperlink is kind of a vote from one page to another that the second page is relevant. And the second assumption is that the anchor text, the actual text around this hyperlink, is a description of the target page. So let's look at an example. Imagine that we're trying to find IBM's homepage. And there's the homepage itself, which is mostly has logos and is very graphical and has very little text. There's maybe a copyright page full of the word IBM. And maybe there's some rival who has a spam page that has some arbitrarily high term frequency. They have IBM repeated many times. How are we gonna find what's the true IBM? Well, the intuition is that a million pieces of anchor text from different pages pointing to IBM sends a strong signal. So we have IBM, the actual site. We might have some string somewhere that says IBM or another one that says IBM.com, another one that says IBM homepage. So the anchor text of this link, IBM homepage, is gonna give us a cue that we're pointing at IBM. And if we add this up over all possible links, we're gonna get a very strong cue about what's a good and relevant page. So in indexing a document, we'll just include the anchor text from all the links pointing to that document in the index for that document. So we have our, our, our IBM page, www.ibm.com, and we have some link that's, that calls it IBM, and another link that refers to the page as IBM apostrophe S, and another one that says big blue, and we add all these into the index for this web page, this URL here, this document here, and that'll give us a lot of information about this page. Now, indexing anchor text can have side effects. So there's the phenomenon of Google bombing where uh, outside people create a lot of links pointing to a page and the links have anchor text that uh, suggest that the page is about something else. And we can solve some of these problems by scoring the anchor text with a weight that depends on the authority of the anchor pages website. So if we have a page pointing to another page and that and that page is say cnn.com or yahoo.com and we decide it's authoritative, then we can trust the anchor text from them. And there's many applications of anchor text besides just information retrieval. Anchor text is a great way to find synonyms. So if we have a page referring to say the Federal Reserve Bank, we can look at the anchor text of all the pages that point to it. And the anchor text might say Fed or US Federal Reserve Board or Federal Reserve Bank. And that tells us that each of those is a synonym for Federal Reserve. And we could do this not just in one language, but many. So we could see translations uh, from a, another language pointing to say the Federal Reserve site, and that'll give us the foreign language translation of Federal Reserve, so that's very convenient. And even inside a page, anchor text can help us by providing constituency boundaries for parsers. Often an anchor text describes a noun phrase, and so by looking at the boundaries of the anchor text, that can help our parsers in doing a better job in parsing the sentence that the anchor text is in. So web anchor text, very useful both in indexing and in other language processing applications.